welcome to the Warehouse Studio, where we get close, candid, and casual with some of our very own Goan celebrities. I'm Orville, and this is Sylvia. And this here is the Warehouse Band, Fraser, Marlon, Edelbert, and Mr. Bobo. The song that we have for you today is called Nuts by Nuts, sung by Orville here, written and composed by Sandy Fernandez, and music arranged by Fraser Pacheco. Nuts by nuts, more just sang up that nuts. Oh, nuts by nuts, I've done hot galoo nuts. Go by Makato, Juda Toshiko. Oh, nuts by nuts, more just sang up that nuts. Oh, Moga, oh, Moga, oh, Moga, I love you. No je kariz je hale, kit li mogar tuji utra, no je spormolan bolele, tu zaruk kar poi na fure, no je kariz tu kadile, a poco trao tango tu ka, sam tu ket na mo je zatele. Nuts by nuts, mo ja sang at that nuts, oh nuts by nuts, atan hat galu tu nuts. Go pan makato. Juda Toshiko Oh, nuts by nuts More just a lot of nuts Oh, more God Oh, more God Oh, more God I love you Get more than a lot to cut out Some to get my head To sort of cut my car so tight Get more than a lot to cut out Tu so da si eta mo ja sopna Sam je kore ke da za tele Tu ja bogan au kit la lasta Je tu kako še gom tele Nuts by nuts Mo ja pa la tu nuts Oh nuts by nuts Ma ka gordo ru tu nuts Kain zba ka ti zona Tu ja wenge na stana Oh nuts by nuts Mo ja pa la tu nuts Oh mo ga Oh, Moga, oh, Moga, I love you, oh. are two very well-known people. A dentist by profession and a talented musician, he's got four albums to his success. He's also composed and sung 
Famous anthems like the Fossa Goa, with his band, The Rise Nation. He's helped young minds live the dream and say no to drugs. We also have with us one of the most amazing and unique speed painters of the country. He's been featured in some of the most popular TV shows such as MTV Colors of Youth, India Ke Mas Kalandar and India's Got Talent. An engineer by profession who also loves adventure, an ardent mountaineer and a fantastic cricketer too. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man with the golden heart and the man with the Midas touch, Dr. Varun Karwalo and Mr. Sanket Mandrekar. First of all, do we have to, do you want us to apologize to your clients and all, your no, patients? No. Because <laughs> I'm sure you must have cancelled some of them to come here. No, no. Right now, because of Corona, all the dentists have got a break too. Right, tell me one thing. I always wanted to ask you one thing. Why the name Rise Nation? Yeah, uh, it's a long story actually because uh, my, my father died when I was five years old and uh, it was actually he who then inspired me to rise up, yeah? Because after he died, I started stammering and uh, everybody said this boy was useless and this and that and all those things. And uh, that's when the time he spoke to me and he said like, Varun, you need to rise up. And that's when I decided I'm going to rise up. And uh, that's how the full Rise Nation started actually. Okay, okay. Sanket, you too are a multi-talented person. What age did you start painting? I started at young age, I'll say uh, when I was a kid, but not speed painting. Speed painting, I realized after doing engineering that I can't do much in engineering. That's why I had to shift to artisting. <laughs> so in engineering, I started speed painting thing. And then afterwards, it continued somewhat. You don't have any formal training in... Uh... No. Art, you know, no, just nothing like that. My field. Yeah. When did you discover basically that you could paint? You liked painting. Uh, if speed painting you are talking, then in third year of engineering, I was just doing something on stage, and that's when I realized that I can do something in this field, not engineering. I couldn't uh, uh, open the machines and all, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. So, and before that, you used to do normal painting, like yeah, uh, normal portraits? Paintings, portraits, sketches and all. Sketches yeah, and that stuff thing. like that. Varun, yeah. all your songs, the names and all, they have deep meaning. Like, like your first album is, is, is Gotta Go Home. Yeah. And your second one is I Walk Alone. I mean, yeah. what do these mean? Yeah, I think uh, most of the songs are very autobiographical. It's about my own life. And it's about the journey I have gone through in my life. And uh, I Got To Go Home, for example, was about my journey back into music and to back where I belong. And uh, that's what the song says is for each one of us and go find uh, the place where you really belong. Just like Sanket uh, found uh, that painting was his thing. And I realized music was my thing and I had to go back to where I belong. And uh, the same thing with uh, You Walk Alone because in basically in life, you come alone and you live alone. On the way, you will meet a lot of people, but you have to develop the skills very early in on in life to walk alone, to be able to walk that path alone, yeah? And that, that is one of the truths in life, actually. And uh, the faster you develop the skills to walk your own path, the better for you. Very true. So you used to sing even before your dentistry? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to sing a lot uh, before my dentistry. In fact, uh, music actually kept me alive. As you know, uh, I used to stammer a lot. And then uh, one fine day, uh, I realized that when I sing, I don't stammer. And uh, that's when I picked up a guitar and I started playing by myself. And uh, I literally got back into rhythm because I started playing with my own beat and I started playing my own songs. And then I started uh, just composing songs and I realized, wow, this is a good expression for me. Like when I sing, I don't stammer and I can tell whatever I want to say through my songs. And then 
later on i realized that why don't i even talk in the same way <laughs> as a song on the on the rhythm and uh, that's when i overcame my stammering also that way like for example i would say oh silvia orwell this is a beautiful day and uh, it's really nice to meet sanket and uh, i think we are going to have a lot of fun today so i started talking in that rhythm and that's what i believe each one of us has to go and find their own rhythm yeah. and and each one has to work with their own rhythm and um, i'm writing a book on that actually it's called co rhythm yes wow. it's called co rhythm and how to get back to your own rhythm and function at that optimum level that's so, really yes, amazing you know when you're talking to us you have one rhythm guitar going on in your yeah head. <laughs> i have can, i have the inbuilt metronome actually can you play the rhythm <laughs> with your mouth <laughs> right yeah. now pa 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 that is a good but how the change was it this was these were your dad's words like i remember you in in college days yeah. when we used to play cricket yeah, and all. yes yes so you were like shy quiet and then then suddenly one fine day we see you with a bmw <laughs> and then going on stage and i see him jumping singing you know he wasn't like this i think is that varun <laughs> how is that 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 change yeah actually the the transformation happened uh, and as you said during the school college years because uh, like as after dad died i started stammering and uh, i didn't like school because everyone used to bully you including the teachers in those days mm. and uh, i never liked studying nor going to school and uh, uh, in fact uh, it it got so bad the bullying and all that uh, i even tried to commit suicide one day yeah even your teachers bullied you yeah yeah in those days um, the education about stammering was not there and uh, the teachers didn't understand that this boy stammered and uh, uh, it was uh, a rough time actually yeah. in the school but uh, it got so bad that one fine day i said why am i on this earth and uh, i remember i was in betul i used to go fishing there but that day i just decided i'm going to just finish this life and i jumped into the sea yeah you where the river jumped? yeah where actually in fact i i still have this cut here i actually jumped into the where the river and sea meets in betul and uh, uh, as i jumped I, i remember i went right down and my head hit, hit the rock there mm-hmm. and uh, but somebody pushed me up yeah the next thing i knew was that i was on the surface of the water and i was flapping for dear life and uh, later on i realized that it was my father who who pushed me up yeah he said varun you need to rise up and when i reached the surface i said wow this world looks so beautiful i could see the beautiful sky i could see the beautiful mountains i could see the beautiful sea and i said why do i have to end up my life just because what people think of me i'm going to make my own life and i have this beautiful universe in front so of me so you had a different perspective yes. to life uh, once i this. came up i had a different perspective in life mm-hmm. and then after that i started spending a lot of time at my father's grave actually that was really funny i used to cycle from margaon to majhod jump over the cemetery wall and i used to spend hours with him just me and him and and my guitar and that's when he spoke a lot to me and he said varun you need to rise up and uh, i wrote a song also uh, which i'm going to release later it's called i'm going to rise and i'm going to fight and uh, that's how my journey started and uh, in fact um, there's another story because uh, uh, one day one of my cousins he took me for a beach show in those days there were a lot of beach shows yeah i think orville yeah, has yeah. played in lot of beach shows i think <laughs> uh, more than anybody else in goa <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, those were exciting times and uh, one day my cousin he was a little older to me he took me to a beach show and there was a guy who came on stage and i, I said wow man some day i want to be like him and uh, he turned out to be remo fernandez yes okay. and that's when that day i told myself one day i'm going to be on the stage yeah and i got an old guitar i borrowed an old guitar i didn't have a guitar on myself i put some strings in it i started practicing and that's when the journey started of reaching the stage that's why i say dreams come true because uh, on my first song remo played the flute 
<laughs> oh, wow. The wow. song was called You Pick Me Up and uh, it's, a, it's a good story actually. Yeah, yeah, I remember really that song. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Sanket, you are so passionate about your paintings. Uh, who is your inspiration? What inspired you, in fact? Uh, I'll say I was inspired by nature, uh, not by any person, but uh, nature, I'll say. So, whatever is in the nature, meaning right from the soil to trees mm -hmm. to leaves, everything inspires you. So, I feel that uh, nature inspired me for starting the painting itself. Wow. So, first you started with landscapes and stuff? I started with a mango fruit. Oh, <laughs> so then, then, That's nice. Then uh, trees. That's what you do when you are a child. Correct. Mango fruits, apples. I remember drawing it like one line here, one line here, that's it. <laughs> so that's how it continued from apples to human faces, uh, then uh, people, and then speed painting. You do portraits as, as well? Yeah, I do portraits too. What's, what's the most difficult, difficult part of a portrait? Uh, I'll say eyes, because the eyes talk to you the most, and uh, it is the most difficult part, and it is the most uh, part that I like in the portrait. So I uh, spend at least three, four hours doing eyes only, then the wow. rest continues. So Sanket, while drawing celebrities, I, I'm sure you, yeah, you uh, sketched yeah. them. So like, what do you see first, like to select who you're going to do? Uh, people, I'll say, who have uh, put impact on people's life. Hmm. That's why I say I'll start, uh, I'll say Nelson Mandela. Okay. They, were powerful well with their work. I'll with their work? Yes. <coughs> Not, yeah. So among Goan people, I think, sure, you're going to do one of them. Yeah, Parun. next portrait show after listening to... Sankit, I was story. in line before that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I have your... <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. he did a portrait yeah. of me when I was performing at Delton. So, uh, yeah. he did it pretty quick in like five minutes, my portrait. No, was you are just uh, over-exaggerating. Yeah. I took... Mm. 15 minutes for that. Was it? Because it was during my break. I just skipped <laughs> one song. I said, y'all continue. I'm just going no. and doing my portrait here. Beautiful. Uh, for, for, for beautiful woman, he takes longer to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll play a game. It's not a right. game exactly. It's, we're going to fire random questions at you guys. Answer them fast. This is called Shoot or Be Shot. Right, Varun, street food, home food or five star? Home food. The one thing that you would take with you on a holiday? My guitar. Name five of your favorite Goan singers. Okay, uh, no offense to anyone, yeah? Yeah, no offense. Uh, because... It's your uh, choice, who you feel. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm just going to be uh, like uh, random. I think first it has to be Remo, because yes. I was inspired uh, by him a lot. Uh, then uh, it has to be August Braganza, whom I heard a few times. Actually, Orville also comes in the list because he used to sing uh, for us, actually, the days when we used to play cricket, actually. And he used to sing a lot of rock songs and all those things. And then I heard him with Sky High. And, but uh, I still believe he has a very good rock, rock yeah. voice, yeah? I and, second you uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, among the female singers, I think uh, Hema has a very good voice. Hema Salsai and uh, Sylvia. You two also. But I believe each one is a different singer, yeah? Yeah. Each one totally. has their own style and each one has their own. So you can't really judge who's above whom, yeah? But I believe everybody yeah. has their, exactly. their place, Correct. yeah. Correct. One artist you would love to perform with? I think uh, uh, just for his uh, energy level and, and what he has inspired me to do, especially on the humanitarian front, is, is Bono, I think, uh, from you two. That would be, be a dream that we will be performing one day and uh, raising money, especially for the kids around the world. Wow. wow. Dreams do come true. So. Yes. 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 Say in order of your preference. Huh? Freddie Mercury, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Elton John, George Michael. Ding, ding, uh, ding, 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 it ding. has to be Michael Jackson, I think. Yes. Then uh, uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, then Elton John, uh, George Michael. And Lionel Richie is there. Yeah, Lionel Richie has to be uh, the last one, fifth one. Sanket, this is for you. One dream portrait. My mother. Oh, wow. Male portraits or female portraits? Which do you prefer painting? Female. Varun, you were right. 15 minutes. You were <laughs> yeah, right, Varun. Yeah. I told you. Beautiful girls, she always takes longer. <laughs> 
that one thing you would take with you on a holiday? My cricket bat. Oh yeah, you love cricket. Mountain climbing or skydiving? Mountain climbing. That one person you would love to go out on a dinner date? You. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well said. So I'm giving him the prize since he's taking me on a dinner date. Just wow, because he, he gets said a dinner date. Dinner yes. date. Which prize for him? Then what? <laughs> what about me? I get to date uh, Orville. Orville. You can take him because you spoke highly about our Orville. So this yeah, is I your gift. About this you is also. your gift. I spoke highly about you also. <laughs> okay, fine. We both are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double date. You wait. Sanket, you need to tell us something about your mountain climbing experience. Uh, see, uh, it takes me somewhere uh, where it's peace. Uh, because uh, in uh, today's life, there is uh, you run everywhere, you rush. You need to go from here to there. You need to do this work. That uh, if I go for mountain climbing, I uh, more get relaxed. peace. Yeah, yeah, more relaxed, and that's what I love climbing up. You try to do what? This is intense mountain climbing, or it's just hobbies? Like, you know, just I say hobbies, but I do it very intensely. Varun, you're a renowned dentist, okay, and a science student like you who can pursue his studies and also do music at the same time. What would your uh, take be on today's education system? I think uh, the the education system by itself is a bit warped, yeah, because uh, I think you learn more uh, by yourself and more when you practice. Uh, there's something called as ten thousand hours. They say whatever you're passionate about, if you put ten thousand hours in that you have to become good at that. And I think Sanket is an example of that. I'm also an example of that because uh, I never learned formal music. Mm. And I think Orville also never learned formal drumming. Mm. Uh, so that's what I've seen with life also. And that's what I tell all the kids. Because even in dental school, I was never a good student. I, I was always a backbencher. Half the time I never went to college. <laughs> <laughs> I never wrote except in exams. <laughs> so uh, if you go by the book, I was never born to be a, a good dentist. But I had that passion and I worked really hard at it once I completed my dentistry. And so that's why whichever school, whichever college I go to, I tell all the kids, like, if you have a passion in something, just follow your passion, put in the hard work, and you will achieve whatever you want to achieve. But do you think uh, education is important, like schooling types or homeschooling? Yeah, uh, or I, I think the basic education, everybody needs the basics. Like, you, you, know to, you need to know the basics of music, you need to know the basics of painting, you need to know the basics of to dentistry, write, yeah. you need to know the basics. So, so you have to go through the basics. Hmm. But uh, what you do after that is all dependent on you. But I believe is you have to skill yourself. So don't depend just on college. Depend on yourself. And however you get the skills, whether it's from the internet or whether it's from uh, gurus or whether it's from your friends, go and get those skills. Sanket, what is your take on this? I feel education is very necessary, at least basic education. And uh, uh, it teaches you morals. Because uh, teachers uh, at young age, uh, let's say till fifth standard at least, teachers are very important because uh, they teach you how to talk, how to behave. And discipline. that is the most, yeah, discipline. That is the most important thing, I feel. Varun, uh, you are trying a lot of things with Rise Nation, like helping the poor, and going to the schools and doing music. Tell us something about this. Yeah. How do you start it? How actually, it came about? Yeah, I, actually, um, there's a uh, bit of a story on it, actually, because my father, before he died, he said, like, Varun, uh, you are born to be a doctor because we come from a family of doctors and you are born to serve people. And uh, before he died, I made him a promise that I would be a doctor, yes? Because I remember uh, for his funeral, there were like hundreds of poor people who were like howling and screaming. At that time, I didn't know what death was. How old were you? I, I was like five years old. Like, I didn't know that he had died also. I thought he was just lying there. But around him, there were like hundreds of poor people like uh, howling and screaming. Uh, so that image still remains in my mind. And uh, then I told myself that this man 
as a doctor, as a human being, must have had a massive impact on those poor people. And I decided I need to finish what he started. And uh, that's when I never liked studying. But for his sake, I said, I'm going to become a doctor. And that's when I started studying and all those things. And then I became a successful doctor. I had eight clinics around Goa and all those things. And one day I remember I was driving in Margaon and uh, I got stuck at the street lights. And I stopped and a boy came up to me, uh, a poor boy, and he knocked on my window. I put the window down, I gave him some money and I asked him, what is your name? And he, he started stammering. And suddenly I got a flashback of me as a kid, yeah? Because for a stammerer to say his name is the most difficult thing. And uh, anyway, the lights came on and I drove the car. That day I went back to my father's grave. And uh, I told him, I said, Father, whatever you wanted of me, I have done, yes? I have become a doctor, I have served the people, but now I need to live for that small Varun, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because if that small Varun had not gone through all those days, if he had not survived, I would not be living today. Next day, I went back to the boy and I gave him a small lion that I had with me. And uh, I, I told him, uh, one day you will roll like a lion. That's when I decided I'm going to spend the rest of my life giving hope to all these young boys and girls that nothing is an impediment in their life, that they can rise above anything and they can achieve their goals in life. And uh, it's a really nice story actually how I got that lion, yeah? Uh, we were four friends in school and two of them, two of us wanted to become priests. My mother didn't allow me to become a priest, uh, but uh, my friend Oscar, his mother allowed him to become a priest. And he went to the seminary. Before going to the seminary, we, we met one last time. And he gave me this lion. And he, he told me, Varun, uh, one day you will roll like a lion. Uh, unfortunately, Oscar died in the seminary. Within three months, he drowned in the same river there. But I kept the lion with me uh, all my life. And that lion really inspired me uh, because I realized that one day I will roll like a lion, yes. And that's what I tell every kid now is you have a lion inside of you. You just have to stand up and you will one day roll like a lion. That is very inspiring and really. touching as well. <laughs> really. Sanket, uh, tell us about Sank Creations. What happened is after engineering, I didn't have anything to do um, because speed painting was uh, not yet started, I'll say, on professional level. So I didn't have anything to do. So after, let's say, six months of uh, being back at home, sleeping, uh, we I started with my friends, uh, what is called as saying creations, uh, an event thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's still uh, growing. So you all do events? Yeah, we stuff. do events. And, uh, oh. Weddings and all weddings, that. Yeah, corporate. that stuff. Corporate weddings. Yeah. yeah. Any message you would like to give to our viewers, your fans and people who know you, and your fans? I, I just learned that uh, from Varun that uh, you shouldn't uh, give up on your dreams. And uh, what I'll say, keep working hard and one day you'll achieve them. I would like to say basically the same thing what Sanket said, yeah? Just believe in yourself and believe in your dreams because uh, nothing can really stop you accept yourself. So have that belief in you because that belief can take you really high, 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 high above. Sanket, uh, you've also participated in reality shows. Yeah, correct. Uh, uh, so what, what were your experiences there? So what happened one day is that uh, my friend sent me a link of that uh, MTV thing. And I wasn't sure about participating in And I just said, uh, let's send some video. And I sent the video. I got into the auditions. So first auditions was in Mumbai. There was Benny Dayal and Lauren Gottlieb uh, sitting on judge's seat. And there were people. Uh, there was one more guy painting with me. Uh, he was uh, painting Amrish Puri. And I did a portrait of Benny Dayal in three minutes. And he did in six minutes. 
So that day I got standing ovation from uh, both the judges and Benny Dayal actually came on the stage uh, to the congratulate me. But that day I didn't get selected because Amresh Puri had, uh, oh, not Amresh Puri, sorry, oh, the other guy, I forgot. Sorry about that. He had expired uh, just two days back, so it was tribute to oh. him. So he got selected. Then what I did that I didn't give up. I went to Hyderabad for one more auditions. And there I did. There again I got uh, this thing, standing ovation. Then I moved into the semi-finals uh, that was in Mumbai. Then into the grand finale, it was in Delhi. So there were, I was in top four for that MTV Colors of Youth. Then uh, I did uh, India's Got Talent. I got into uh, TV rounds here. Then uh, India came as Kalanda I did. Uh, there I got into semi-finals. And uh, one more uh, TV show was that Goa Got Talent. There also I got into semi-finals. So you had a long real uh, reality show journey. Not long, I'll say it's very short. I have to do a lot of things. But how is it? Is it fun or...? Uh, it is fun, but... Time consuming. Uh, very time consuming. <laughs> you start at morning in 7, then the celebrities come at 12 or 1 in afternoon. Then the shoot starts at 4. Then it continues till 3 in the morning. Wow. Ooh. So again, uh, one day shoot is over. Then again, next day you have to get up at 7 and go wow. into the sets. And then again start. The whole routine. It's quite taxing. Uh, you yeah. want to go? No. For what? <laughs> we shall now play a small game, finally. You like games and all that? Yeah. He likes cricket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we both like cricket. Yeah, actually has to be a very good leg spinner, actually. And uh, that was one of my dreams, actually. And it came true because uh, I finally played, uh, like, minor county cricket in England. And that was an amazing experience, yeah, like... You actually England. played yeah, county yeah. cricket in England? Minor counties. There's okay. something called minor, yeah. minor counties. So I was playing in the Staffordshire League. And uh, uh, that was a really good experience, actually. You played for a yeah, yeah. long time? For a proper club, for two years. Wow. Two wow. Years. wow. Yeah, yeah. We never yeah. knew this. I never knew this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they something, something people don't know. <laughs> so today they will. Yeah, today they will. Now <laughs> they know. <laughs> anyway, let's play the game. For the yeah. game, first of all, you have to stand. He'll give you the headphones with loud music playing you on it. And Sanket is going to read something from here. He's going to pick up a chit and you have to read his lips. Move. So Sanket, are you ready? Yeah. And Varun, good to go? Maka kide polna? Maka zai. Naka tu Sylvia. Maka kide polna? Maka zai football. Maka kide polna? Maka zai feni. Okay, time out. Time out. Time out. So you'll have to pick another one. Piki piki kazule. Piki piki kazule. Pinky, pinky, yo. <laughs> He's ca calling everyone. Pinky, pinky, kazule. You can tell him. Pinky, pinky, to yo. You can say it slowly. Pinky, pinky, kazule. Pinky, pinky, kazule. P, P. Feni, P. Feni. I knew he that was coming. Feni. He loves Feni. <laughs> Someone give him Feni. One last try. Yeah. Piki Piki Kazule. Pinky Pinky Oz. Okay, time out. <laughs> Next one. Okay, start. Undra Maja Mama. Undra Maja Mama. Undra Maja Mama. Tude Kalsis Makazai. Everything he wants, give him. <laughs> give him. <laughs> He's on a demand I know. Like. Undra Maja Mama. I'll show him last. <laughs> Undra Maja Mama. Undra. <laughs> Come on, Varun, you can do it. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Undra Maja Mama. Undra Maja Mama. Oh. He read it oh, so read it? quick. Yep, yeah. yeah, it was good. I can't hear. He read it quick. 
You are good at sight reading. You don't no, get no, that. No, 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 you are not done. You are not done. Two more to go. <laughs> I was always good at cheating, man. <laughs> So now that's, we know how you that's got. Why, that's why I crossed through school, man. It's difficult, man. Uh, especially with that mustache and beard and everything. <laughs> Get up, cream up. <laughs> so show him your lips. Yeah, yeah. Because, because, because I'm very bad at reading, reading men, man. I could never read men. Oh. Ah. So should I say this? Should I say this no. this time? Ah. Okay, okay. Let yeah. me say this. Yeah, let me try. <laughs> Let's try this actually. Yeah. Wow, wow. Wait, Come on, Varun. Okay. Wear this. Okay, wait. Ready? Tujhe moje kazar. Oh God, which See, one did I, I get? <laughs> Tujhe moje kazar. Tujhe moje kazar. Tujhe moje kazar. Tuka boje zai. So this has got nothing to do with male and female. You got to go with this. <laughs> okay. तुझे मुझे काजर काय वेट 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 नाउ यू कैन सी नाउ तुझे मुझे काजर काय समजना मा काय समजना नेक्स्ट तुझे मुझे काजर तू मुगे पेंटिंग कोतलो ओए श्योर श्योर <laughs> okay, time out. Another okay. one, last one. Come on, Varun. Come on, you got to get this last. How many? Five, five. <laughs> what is this? This How last one you have to get. <laughs> Why am I talking louder? <laughs> the difficult man. <laughs> I'll, I'll make action. Okay. okay. Uh, action. No. First, first few times. Try first without time. actions. Yes. Yeah. First huh. time. This is the, the most difficult game I played, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where? Let's go. Porne Walter. Porne Walter. Porne Walter. Get motor. You want to try? You want to try? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's see oh, whether you can one? guess when Orville says it. I'll give you a simple one. Huh? I'll give you a simple one. Rise, nation. Rise, nation. Rise. Our grammar. <laughs> Rise. Okay. Rise. Rise, nation. Very simple. You you know this one. Very simple. You know this one. Put the headphones back. Give me a clue, man. <laughs> it's not a clue. He, 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 he you know a, this one. He gives a clue like you know this one, man. <laughs> it's like a good clue, man. <laughs> That's a good clue, like. Yeah. I, I changed the word. I gave something that you know. Dita ka. Put it on. Dita ka. Okay, try that one. Let's see. Those are my few few words of Konkani I know, man. Yeah, but this this is. <laughs> This this has got something to do with you only. With me, f. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, you gotta get this going. <laughs> okay, let's try that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Rise, nation. <laughs> See me, baby. Rise, nation. It's in it's in it's in Konkani or English? It's in English. Now I'm giving you an English. English. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking in Konkani, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one is in English. Now it's in English. Something. You I have know. something to do with it. Read my lips. I'm bad. No, at I'm going to say it now. Put the headphones on. I told you I'm bad at at men's lips, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your lipstick? <laughs> I put lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Ready? Rise. Nice. Nation. Rise. R rise. Nice lips. No, no. Rise. Nice Tita dancing. <laughs> rise. Nation. Nation. Set. No, no, no. Rise. Rise. Nation. 
वोगोत कितलो जाला मोजा वोगोत वोल्ट वोगोत कितलो जाला इतलो इतलो इज देयर कितलो वोगोत कितलो जाला वो दोळ किदे झाले वोगोत वोगोत कितलो झाला आय लाईक दॅट आय नो वोगोत Both are good in cheating. He's good, man. Ah, it's an easy one. Kalchi Kodi. Kalchi Kodi. Kalchi Kodi. Oh, wow. Oh. So good. Wow, wow. wow. Well played, oh, played oh, Sankit. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing. Varun, you were good too. Yeah. <laughs> you have to play it again. <laughs> <laughs> He loved the game. No, so no, much. Can, come, come. Take it. <laughs> okay. We have a winner. Yes. Sankit, you are our winner. But don't worry, you know. He you, narrated you, very well. Yeah, so he narrated, so he should get so, a win. Okay, you both are winners. He gets a date. He gets a date. Then. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> get a date with him. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get a date. You're going to get a date. You're going to get a date. Double date. Both of you all are winners, right. but both of you all don't win a prize. Wow. What you all do get is a token of our appreciation. Thank you. And we have the great Melanie coming here. Thank, Thank you. you so much for playing so well. Sanket, you too. So now, we come to the most exciting part because this is something that our viewers have never witnessed before. We are going to have a jugal bandi. You all must have seen jugal bandi in music, but this is a jugal bandi with a twist. Varun is going to sing for us, and Sanket is going to paint. The same, on theme. same theme. Same so theme. So this is going to be really fun and exciting. I just can't wait. Varun let's go for it right now are let's you ready go. come on let's go Yeah 
Warriors now. Thank you. Yes, all of us can be warriors, yes, and this yes, song yes, especially yes. goes out to all the doctors in the world who are doing a fantastic job at the moment. Fantastic. Well, let's have Sanket on stage with us, along with his painting, and that's John helping us out. Thank you, John. Wow, what a Whoa. amazing art. Amazing. Sanket, so that powerful. is beautiful. Thank you. And within that span, to paint this is really amazing. Thank you. I think uh, Varun's song gave me that energy to do that painting in within uh, less time. And also, this is a tribute to all the frontline warriors who are fighting right now to fight against this pandemic situation. All the doctors, all the cleaners, all the policemen, all the army people, everyone. So everyone is a warrior right now, and I'll say ki, uh, we should help them and we should uh, try and be at home and stay safe and also help them in this cause. Thank you. Very well Very said. Good. Can we have Sanket sign the painting? Let's put our hands Whoa. together that. Oh. Lovely. Lovely. That was Sanket, ladies and gentlemen, and Varun. And with that, we come to the part where we say adios. We don't like doing it, but we have to. If you liked our show, please like, comment, 
share and subscribe. Well, till then, this is Sylvia and Orville along with Varun and Sanket and the entire team of the Warehouse Studio saying, We'll be back! Rolling. This is the Vera Band. Straight up. Holland. Hello, Vera. Rolling and Jero. Don't get One more. Again, 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 again. Yes, we do. Take one. Of the Forza Goa, which you have done for FC Goa. And he's all like it. Take two. Take 3, take 4, take 5, take 6, take 7, take 8, take 9. The most amazing and unique spade. Take 10, take 11. Cut. Yeah!